hello there and welcome back to our channel so today we have an exciting topic for all you beginners artists out there we are going to talk about ballpoint pen shading techniques and i will be showing you six essential techniques to create a good shading effect using just your ballpoint pen so without wasting much of your time let's get started so today's tutorial is based on a post i made in my community some days ago so after the voting process i realized that most beginners still have issues with learning how to shade with the pen and that is the purpose of this tutorial today what i'll be demonstrating today will be the basic techniques that i used to create pen works then in my next tutorial i will show you how these techniques always work when we are creating a portrait drawing with the pen so after today's tutorial my next tutorial will be on how to use these techniques you are going to learn today how you are going to use these techniques to create your own art the shading form and the layers the places where different patterns and different techniques are meant to be used in your portrait works So our first and most common technique in pen works is the arching technique. So arching involves drawing lines in a single direction. Your lines could be short or long. Just make sure that they are close to each other to create a smooth shading effect. The closer your lines, the smoother your shading. While the, the more far your lines are, the more hard it is to blend those lines well. The second and also commonly used is what we know as the cross arching technique. So cross arching is similar to arching but instead instead of drawing single lines in a single direction what you have to do in cross arching is to draw multiple lines coming from different direction just like your arching when you arch in a single stroke so cross arching you overlay on that stroke coming from another direction 
like two to three directions to create a cross action effect and this is always easy to blend a particular place faster as it will help to make your work more smooth than the action technique The third one is called stippling and it involves shading using small dots. This shading technique is not a general technique, it is mainly used for specific places in any form of art. So the next technique here is called the scribbling technique. So scribbling involves making random strokes in no particular direction with your pen to create shading. So this technique is mostly used for rough outline sketching and the woman part of the air. That is when you want to shade your air. You can try to use stippling, scribbling technique to give an illusion of roughness on the air. So the next technique now we are going to talk about is the contour shading technique. Now this shading mainly deals with making your lines curved. That is you have to shade in a curved direction most especially in some parts of a portrait drawing. Like for example let's say the mouth. There are some parts in the mouth that doesn't need arching or cross arching. It needs a contour kind of shading to give this illusion of a curved lip. I don't understand if you get what I'm saying. In contour shading, you don't like shade like arching. You make your lines a little bit curved, like in a circular motion, but not too curved in form of an arc. If you understand arc in mathematics, that line, that is what they call a contour when it comes to pen works. So contour shading simply means shading in a curved direction to create a kind of curvedness in 
a particular work of art. And this technique is most effective when you are trying to draw long hair, especially from the top part of the head, curving it down to the other part of the hair. Yeah, that is where a contour shading comes in place. Instead of drawing straight lines that will make your hair look unrealistic, you use a contour shading technique. You curve your lines towards the direction the reference is giving you. So that is mainly what a contour shading is all about. So our last but not the least is the scumbling technique. This technique is popularly known as circleism, that is using little small circles to make your shading. So all you have to do in this technique is just create your shading in a circular motion, that is tiny circles until you fill up the area you are working on. Larger circles tends to give a lighter shade, while smaller circles when coming together tends to darken your work a little bit and the more you add your circles, the more darker your work goes. So this 6 shading technique I just showed you is basically all you need in a portrait drawing. So to show you the effect of these shading techniques, I'm going to be uploading a portrait drawing tutorial made with pen in my next video tutorial so that you can see how this technique comes into play from beginning to the end of the drawing. So if after this tutorial, you are still finding it difficult to shade with the pen, then you can check down my description box for my social media platform and you can message me from there. Or I will drop my social media platform in the comment section so you can message me directly from my social media platform. So after all this, it will be best for you if you start to practice by yourself like develop yourself personally and allow the skill to grow naturally in you don't try to force in what you know you are not good at just keep on practicing and the skill will develop naturally that is what pen works is all about so after all being said i hope today's tutorial is a very educative one especially to beginners who are finding it difficult to shade with the pen if you find this video very educative and you want more from this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, share and hit the notification bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. So thank you very much for watching, until next time, see you in my next tutorial.